So the Derud model is just a model of electrons flowing through uh, some material, and they can be represented like this. Where these represent uh, the ions of some material, normally a uh, metal conductor. And this is the path of an electron. And in this model, uh, electrons can uh, bounce off the ions, but this is just a, rep a representation of a path. And so a really important concept is the drift velocity, uh, represented as capital V subscript D as a vector. Um, and this equals the drift velocity. And what the drift velocity is, is the net velocity of velocity of electrons as they move through a material. A material. All right. Um, the next thing is uh, electron current, represented I subscript E. And this is equal to the number of electrons uh, over the change in time. And the electron current, current is the number of electrons that pass through a cross-section uh, in a given amount of time. have a representation of a wire this area right here is area A and this distance here is delta X and this represents the uh, drift velocity uh, showing the direction so the D and so uh, delta X is equal to the drift velocity uh, multiplied by the change in time um, so uh, using the equation of uh, the electron current uh, we get that the electron current is equal to the number of electrons divided by solving for delta T, uh, delta X divided by the drift velocity, which is equal to the number of electrons times the drift velocity over delta X. And then we can multiply each side by the area uh, like this, the number of electrons multiplied by the drift velocity X multiplied by the area over the area, and we can do that because this will just cancel out to equal one, but this will equal the number of electrons uh, multiplied by the drift velocity multiplied by A over the volume because uh, area times length is equal to the volume. Um, and this can be simplified to be lowercase n, uh, which means electron density, uh, drift velocity uh, multiplied by the area. So, yep, that's the, that's the equation for the uh, electron current.
Okay, so from here, we can talk about uh, applying electric fields. Where, uh, to relate it, um, so P is equal to the integral F dt, uh, which can, this will become the electron charge multiplied by the uh, electric field uh, change in time. And this is impulse. And remember those have the units of kilograms mass over, um, so V is equal to I delta T divided by mass uh, because when uh, with impulse having the units of kilogram mass uh, per second, when you divide uh, <laughs> kilogram meters per second, um, you can divide down the mass to uh, to get the units meters per second, uh, which is just velocity. Um, cool. Oh yeah, and this is the time between collisions. All right, so relating this back to um, the previous thing, we can set uh, tau to be equal to the average time between uh, collisions, and the collisions are just the uh, collisions between the uh, electron and the ions. Um, so we get VD, again applying it to the previous uh, equations, uh, is equal to charge of the electric field times tau all over the mass. So, from this equation, uh, we can solve uh, electron current is equal to electron density times uh, charge tau A divided by mass multiplied by the electric field. And then from this we can solve for E to be equal to mass times um, divided by tau A. Cool. So now we need to define current. And all that current is, is charge over change in time. Um, and this has the unit of amp peers, uh, which is represented as a capital A. Uh, so 1A is equal to 1 Coulomb per second. And ampere is actually the um, SI unit, not coulombs, which is a little weird, but whatever. So then from this equation, we can extrapolate that I is equal to uh, electron charge times the number of electrons, which is just Q, uh, over delta T. Delta T, which is equal to electron times... Uh, the E, uh, which is 
Yeah, and you can do an electron charge times electric current, uh, which is equal to electron density multiplied by electron charge, the thing, uh, drift velocity multiplied by the area. And that's just subbing in uh, stuff for, uh, what's it called? Electron current. All right, and so the last thing that we need to know is Kirchhoff's uh, current law. Kirchhoff's and all the it's 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 just that um, the conservation of charge of charge. So all that this says is that um, when a like at a junction in a wire or something uh, with a current here, a current here, and a current here, current one, current two, and current three, uh, the current um, before the junction and the current after the junction is equal, so no charge is lost. So in this situation, current one would be equal to current two plus current three. And this would be the same at a different junction if the currents were flowing in the opposite direction. So this is current one, current one, current two, current three. Uh, current three would be equal to current one plus current two. All right. So uh, just do one example now, or total of two, but the first example. Uh, there is a five millimeter wire, um, and there is a with a 1.5 milliamp a uh, current passing through it. Uh, how many electrons? Uh, pass through it. Pass through like a given uh, part. Uh, in one millisecond. All right, um, so to do this, we need to figure out the radius of the wire because the wire is a cylinder. So the radius is equal to 2.5 millimeters, and we need to uh, turn that into meters. So 0 0.0025 meters. Uh, current it was equal to 1.5 milliamps. And then we need to turn that into uh, amps, which is just 0 0.0015 amps. And we need to figure out how much time, which is one millisecond. So delta T is equal to 0 0.001, well, it's, it's equal to one millisecond, which is equal to 0 0.001 uh, seconds. All right, so then we need to figure out uh, what equations we can use. So we can use that the current is equal to charge over delta T. And from that, we can figure out that Q is equal to current delta T, which is equal to 0 0.0015 amps times 0 0.001 seconds, which is equal to 1.5 five times 10 to the negative six amps seconds. And then we can use um, 
the fact that uh, e uh, is equal to q, uh, charge multiplied by the number of electrons is equal to the total charge. Um, to say that uh, total charge divided by the charge of an electron is equal to the number of electrons. Um, so we got here that Q is equal to uh, 1.5 times 10 to the negative 6. And then we divide that by the charge of an electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. It's incredibly small. Uh, and this becomes, this is equal to uh, 9.5. 375 times 10 to the power of 12 electrons. Sorry about that part right there. All right. And then to find the uh, current density. That is the current density. Uh, J is equal to current over area. And then area is equal to uh, pi times the radius, which is uh, 0 0.0025 meters uh, squared, which is equal to 1.96 times 10 to the negative 5 uh, meters squared. And we need to figure out the current, which we already have uh, back up here. So I is equal to 0 0.0015 amps. And we just divide 5 divided by uh, 1.96 times 10 to the negative 5 uh, amps meters squared. And this is equal to 76.40. Uh, amps per meter squared. So that's pretty easy. All right. And then on to the second example. Example two. All right. Let's draw it out. All right, so we have one wire that's changing thickness, and it's the same material. The drift velocity right here, three times 10 to the negative five meters per second. We have a diameter here of one uh, millimeter, and we have a diameter here of three millimeters. And the current that is passing through it is one amp. And we just wanna figure out um, what is uh, the drift speed uh, at the end of the uh, wire or the which is the three millimeter uh, section because we know the we know the drift speed in the one millimeter section um, so because uh, of Kirchhoff's uh, current law, we know that the amps does the amps does not change uh, between this section and this section. So the current is equal to the amount. Um, so yeah, we just need to find an equation for that includes the drift speed and the area. And so we get uh, the electron density multiplied by the electron charge multiplied by the drift speed 
multiplied by the area. Um, otherwise known as the uh, electron current uh, equation, uh, into the section uh, is equal to the electron current, or the electron density multiplied by the electron charge, multiplied by the drift velocity multiplied by A, of uh, the out of the other side. Um, okay, so since it is the same material, the electron density uh, will not change. So these will both cancel out, and the electron charge is a constant, so those will both cancel out as well. Uh, so what we're left with is drift velocity area in is equal to the drift velocity on the out. Cool. Uh, so we just solve from here. Uh, so we know the electron density, or sorry, we know the drift velocity in the area for this side, and we know the area for this side. So the area here, since this is a wire, um, area is just pi r squared. So, or here, let me uh, just write out the inner multiplied by the area. velocity out and that is this is what we're solving for um, so 3 point times 10 to negative 5 multiplied by pi the pi's will cancel out but I'm just writing them anyway um, and since this is a ratio we it doesn't actually uh, matter if we convert the units to uh, meters it's just a ratio um, the radius, uh, point 0.5 is the radius of this side squared, divided by the radius of uh, the second side squared, which is 1.5 millimeters squared. And this just gets us 3.33 times 10 to negative 6 meters per second. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's about it.